Mark? Right over here. Thank you, that's Thank perfect. You. Can you see me? Okay. Yes. Okay. We've been asking folks, how many times has your senator asked you out to lunch? <laughs> None. <laughs> I am a nobody to those people. If you were a big political mega donor, do you think you'd be getting those calls? That seems very likely, yes. Probably. What does that say about our system and the way things are working? I think the system is rigged. Um, it's stacked against the individual, and it makes me feel invisible. And I don't want to feel invisible. We've long since lost our image and concept of what a democracy is. I don't think our democracy is working for me anymore, is it? It's working for the people who pay the politicians to protect the interests of the people who can pay the politicians. So our organization wants to send a message about big money in politics. Can I have you walk over there to sign? Cool. Of course. Oh, definitely. I'd love to, yeah. Sure, love to. And if I could, I'd get everyone in the neighborhood to sign up. What did Citizens United do? Citizens United opened a spigot um, to the reservoir of money that rich people have, billionaires. This takes the interests of government away from actual citizens, actual people, and puts it almost entirely in the interests of corporations. It didn't used to work that way. It was one person, one voice, and now all of a sudden it's changed. That's wrong. In every sense of the word, for America, that's wrong. So, do you think you can do anything about it? Can I make a difference by myself? No. But if together, as citizens, we all unite, we can take back our government. Force them to come forth with policies that help America, not the rich friends who are contributing to them. What would you say if I told you that more than 500,000 Americans have signed on to overturn Citizens United? I would say we need 500,000 more. We need more. We need thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions more. Then we realize that the people actually have the power. Um, it's not the corporations, ultimately, that have the power, unless we allow them to. Let's keep at it so that we can push those numbers up and really start to get the ear of our elected officials. Half a million people is awesome, but it is not enough. But if half a million people each reach out to one person, then that's a million people. And if they each reach out, then that's two million people. And one by one, when we actually unite, then we take our government back. They're not going to shut us up. It's not going to happen.